There are numerous ways to present your work to both colleagues and friends with Gravity Sketch, both in and outside the program. First, we'll go over the features that are inside GS making it easy to display your work within your environment. While in your sketch, you can access and create viewpoints by first pressing the purple button and then selecting the bottom icon within your tools menu. Viewpoints are screenshot perspectives that you or others can immediately spawn to upon entering a room or just by selecting them within the viewpoints menu. You can also toggle between viewpoints using your drawing hand toggle. To place a viewpoint, direct your controller towards the desired object and pull the index trigger on your drawing hand. You can move and scale the viewpoint afterwards, so don't worry about its original placement. This feature is incredibly helpful when multiple users are in a collab room and a specific angle is being prioritized or if a common entry point is needed. Another amazing way to present Gravity Sketch while in program is by casting or tethering your device to a PC. Casting is super easy, and for Oculus users, which is likely most of you, you can do this by going to oculus.com slash casting, either on your desktop or mobile device, and also by using the Oculus mobile app. Then on your headset, make sure to go to casting and select your casting device. You'll notice a red dot appear at the top right when you're casting successfully. Tethering your headset to a PC not only improves the performance of your GS application, but also displays GS on screen, enabling you to screen record or project your work however you see fit. Now let's make our way to some features just outside of Gravity Sketch using Landing Pad. By either exporting your work or taking a screenshot of it, we can use Landing Pad to visualize, present, and even re-export our progress in a number of ways. Make sure you're connected to the cloud and also properly name and assign a location to your file before exporting to Landing Pad. Once in Landing Pad, either on your computer or within Chrome on your mobile device, you're enabled to search, select, and even send, download, view, move, rename, and delete your files. The two we'll focus on here are view and download. With view, we can select this icon to pull up either a 3D viewport of our OBJ and FBX files, or a high resolution 2D display of our screenshots. With screenshots, these PNG images can be saved or sent and immediately brought into post-processing for presentations, pitch decks, mood boards, anything. For 3D files, View provides the opportunity to capture work in some amazing ways. On the left-hand panel, you'll notice you can control multiple settings. Camera allows you to adjust focal length, turntable speed, and camera perspective. Layers allows you to control visibility just as you would within the sketch itself. Environment can be changed in real time and used to highlight your work through lighting and material. Metrics reads a total bounding box of your sketch geometry and in whatever units you exported it in. And export enables you to reformat your files with even AR compatibility through GLTF and USDZ, which we'll cover in a later video. A quick way to render a turntable is to screen record your viewport directly within landing pad. While the turntable rotates, you can sort through displaying different aspects of your work using the tabs mentioned earlier. This is a powerful tip for creating super fast turntable visuals without the need to wait for CPU rendering. Like screenshots, these 3D files can also be downloaded and imported into any platform of your choice and rendered at remarkable quality. Shown here are some stills in even a turntable, rendered in Blender, using assets exported directly from Gravity Sketch.